What's going on everybody? Welcome to G Myers World and today we're going to be talking about Leonard Fournette and I've been telling you guys this for a while. I don't know what happened with the most recent patch update in October but uh, it's something that's going on with Saquon Barkley and I don't really like it and um, I know we were talking about the fact that I have Franco Harris and his stats are very sick but he doesn't meet the spin move threshold although you can get spin moves off with him. It's not the same thing. I can't really explain what I mean about like you know the, the differences in the spins but I can show you okay right here where you go like he has a better elusiveness and that probably adds to it but his spin move is still an 86 right so with Leonard Fournette you get a different edge with it and um you know the trucking is pretty much the same situation but you know he has a high truck right there um obviously Leonard Fournette is we're pretty much going to be getting him for the truck but he has the right um thresholds for everything that goes on as far as the spin move being an 88 plus and the trucking right and then we also have Franco as somebody that can lead block and do different things in the same scheme. So when we get into that red zone where we're going to have an issue scoring, it really won't be an issue anymore. All right. So this is what I want to explain to you guys again. Looking at Franco Harris right now, you can see his impact blocking is pretty high and his lead block is pretty, uh, you know, pretty high. So I would much rather have him be utilized in that aspect in like an iPro, something like that, instead of just having him as, as my running back, which I have been doing, and I've been having a lot of success with it, but I would much rather have him as a mobile blocker, because if he's a mobile blocker in certain sets, it just benefits the overall running staff, you know what I'm saying, so we don't have to really play around with too many tight ends and things like that, so what I did was I was able to purchase uh, Leonard Fournette at a, um, at, for 140, the new card, I waited around for a little bit, because a couple days ago it was like 170, he was like 165, I'm like, yo, I can deal with the 140-ish, but I didn't really want to go a little bit, you know, a little bit more than that. So what I did was, I'm going to pull it up on the right side. I was able to get um, Leonard Fournette. See, that it goes right there. I won him for 140. Okay, so his elite card was 25K. So I got everything that I need right now. So I'm going to go into the item binder. And what I'm going to do at this point is, we're going to go ahead and we're going to build the Leonard Fournette and put him in our lineup and take Saquon Barkley out. Now, remember, if you actually put everything together for Saquon Barkley... You probably are going to be, you know, as a rookie premier, if you did it for Madden 18, you automatically get the updates. All that is pretty good. But keep in mind, he doesn't get a physical chem. So, it, it, you know, it's a lot of things that go on with the program. I'm pretty sure that EA will learn from some of the things that they've done and try to make it better in the future. But for now, those type of things, it really affects the overall gameplay of what we're trying to build. Because they get us used to having everybody with all these, you know, uh, being able to have a physical chem slot. And then they're like, you know, you know what? Nah, no more of that. And it's kind of ridiculous, but that's what goes on. So what we're going to do now, like I told you, is we have everything that's needed for him. So we're going to go ahead right now, and we're going to power him up. I think I have a power-up pass for another card, but I think it's like a low, low power-up pass. So I don't think it's going to be like useful anymore, to be honest. Um, why are they giving me a cancel? All right, let's go. We'll do that. All right, let's go over here. We'll do this. Okay, let's go. Let's get that done. All right, so I don't think I had the 84 power-up. But before we... I bought the card already, so... It doesn't really matter. I'm gonna still. Uh, uh, maybe it does matter. Let me let me get out of this. Let me let me get out. Let me let me make sure, bro. Cause you guys gonna be like, Yo, G Maya, did you check the power up pass, yo? Like you be, you guys be going hard, and I appreciate that, bro. But make sure that you're right though. Like like for the people that were like, Yo, man, you you skipped out on that power up pass for the dots, and that's going for mad money. Like, bro, listen. I don't. I never tell you guys that I know everything, and I always try to continue, and that's why I share everything with you. Like I don't really hide it. You know, like, you know, other people may hide it. Bro, listen, I'm learning every day with the game. So I really don't care if I make a mistake here or there. It's just about the fact that we have to all learn together is pretty much what I'm trying to do. And as long as we all learn together, that, that's all I really care about. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to all make mistakes. And am I an idiot most of the times? Absolutely, bro. But I'll be the first to tell you I'm an idiot. But this right here, hold up, 80 to 82 overall. All right, so good. So he's 84. So we so we were right. We were right about that. All right, so where's this other? Where, where, we could finish powering him up. Where are you? You're like an 84 or something. Where you at? We started powering you up, bro. Where you, where you at? Oh, no, you were like an 82, though. You like an 82, though, on the flow. Bro, 82 on the flow. All right, so let's keep upgrading you. Because I, I just knew that I was able. I think it's when I got rid of my fullback a while ago. I think one of his base cards were like an 82 or something. So we ended up getting that pass back so that we could use it. But I, I don't think there's going to be another card I'm going to use that pass for. So maybe EA will give us something else that we can utilize it for. So let's add this guy here. Okay. Add the 90 into that. And um, we're going we're gonna to look at all his stats right here before we get the other chem. We're going to put power. What is that? Power run on him. So it's going to add some more things to him. He's only been a Jaguar. He's been hurt. But, you know, like I said, I don't know what. Okay, what are we doing? Power run. Where's power run? 
All right, we, hold on. What does power run add? Stiff arm, impact block, bring tackle, truck. So we're going to get more truck. Okay. More truck again. And then more truck. So he's going to be just, bro, this dude about to truck somebody. Hey, listen, bro. Hey, get your moms ready at 8. I'm going to be there at 8.05 in 37 seconds. Just get your moms ready for it because this dude is about to be a whole goon out here. All right, we're going to give him sprinter chem. Okay, so let's go ahead and add that. Craft that chemistry right quick. Put that on him. All right, ability is going to be return, man. We got to give him truck specialist, right? Yeah, we'll give him truck specialist. So we have two people with truck specialists now. We're going to have him with it, and we're going to have um, we're gonna also have Franco, right? So if one of them get tired and we get into the red zone, he just gives me more options. And what I'm learning about the game as we go along uh, that I like is that the people that you utilize in the red zone, if you give them like certain essential um, red chems, like the truck specialist, the other day I was playing somebody. It was a very, very close game. It was actually live on stream. Twitch.tv forward slash gmyersworld. You guys can get head over there like I always tell you. If, you have, um, if you're an Amazon Prime customer, you can sub to me for free on Twitch. Definitely check it out. But look, when you're in the red zone and you have truck specialists, these dudes will truck anybody in front of them. It is outrageous, bro. I'm just letting you know that. The dude truck... Out of... Yo, it was wild. It was Franco Harris, and he like dragged like six guys with him on his back. It was like... It was really, really crazy. So the reasoning behind, like I said, why I would want to have Leonard Fournette, this is why. Leonard Fournette is a very, very unique back in the fact that he has a lot of other he has a lot of other active attributes that meet or surpass the other thresholds. So now look at what we're working with, right? He has a 91 speed, so that's plus one. The acceleration is still pretty much the same though. I think well his acceleration is up also because um well Franco Harris probably has a 92 excel because we have the sprinter cam to tier two, but the trucking at 96, that's a lot of trucking, bro. Like, his trucking is 95. Put it like this. We got a lot more brake tackle. We got a lot more trucking. Um, the elusiveness, you can see that's, that's in the 80s. But when you come over, right? Hold up. The agility is about the same. But, um, and okay, his catching is a 68. So I think this guy's catching is better. His catching is an 82. But we're only using him straight for, like, running through the line. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're not worried about that. That trucking is outrageous, right? But look at the spin move. You see what I'm saying? So that 88... That, that's pretty serious business. I'm just letting you guys understand that because he meets the threshold. That's the only reason that I was like really, you know, I played against several players that utilized him. And I have to tell you, man, it was a nightmare. It really was a nightmare playing against them because when he gets into the open field, he doesn't only have to spin, but he can spin. If it's like one-on-one -on -one and you don't want to truck, he can spin. So what that does, that gives you more options. OK, so when the more options you have, obviously, the better your team is going to perform. So that's what those are the things that I look for inside my, you know, for my squad. I, I want to the best of my ability to put the players out there that, you know, that they, they do the best for me. I need them to actively be able to do the best for me. So, yeah, I spent the 165 and I use some training points on them. But in my opinion, right, when Ricky Williams gets tired, say Ricky Williams breaks a big run, because a lot of you guys don't really realize this. If Rick, once Ricky Williams, when he breaks a big run, it starts to get a little tricky, okay? It really starts to get tricky to the point where it's like, you know, what, what are we really going to do here? You got you to gotta be careful with the way that it works simply because if you, if you get yourself in a situation where um, you keep running Ricky Williams even though EA doesn't take him out of the lineup, it's very, very rare, but he'll fumble when you least expect it, even if he doesn't show like he's really tired. You know what I'm saying? Like, it'll still show him as, like, a solid blue or whatever, and it won't be, like, yellow or red. But if you run with him too much on one drive, he is more likely to fumble. I just want to keep that in mind for you guys because a lot of you guys wonder why these things happen, and it's very obvious, but I just have to point it out because I feel that a lot of people um, are not really pointing that kind of stuff out to you, and I want you to know that. that that's something that's very, very important that I think you guys should be very, very familiar with. So just keep that in mind as you go forward so that you understand what's going on with that. So after that, that's two, three, four, five. This guy would be six. This seven. Who would be my... Th okay, so uh, we're going to need another D tackle. Okay, and then I'm going to... prop. Do I have anybody as a backup that I want to put that chem on? Because we could actually unlock the sprinter chem very, very soon. See, Aaron Donald, what's going to happen is when we upgrade him... He's going to be, um, well, you know, probably a week from now when his price comes down or however it works, we're going to get that Aaron Donald, right? And then what we're going to do with it, he's going to be at 80 speed, but with the sprinter, everything is going to go up with him. So he's going to be like an 81 speed. He's going to be a monster. Everybody else is going to go up by two as well. So I'm also looking to max it out, which means that 
Leonard Fournette is going to be a 92 speed with all that other stuff going on, with all that truck. That is craziness right now. Because remember, Ricky Williams right now, he is, what, a 92 speed also. So you're going you're, you're gonna to get Ricky Williams, but with a 96 truck and base with truck specialist on him. So I want you guys to be very, very um, observant of what I'm trying to do because it's a whole, it's schematically what I'm trying to do is wild and ridiculous. And to a lot of you guys, it probably doesn't make much sense, but it should because you want to make sure that you cover every aspect of what you're doing within the game. That's the whole objective. And, um, you know, as you go forward with it, it becomes a little bit more easy to figure out what you need to do as you, you know, put together your scheme. So what I'm going to do right now is I still have um, the solo challenges where we have to do for training points, right? Oh, we actually have team of the week. So that's good. Uh, do we have to play with their players or what happens? I forgot what we do with that. All right, Adrian Peterson, we get a team of the week collectible. All right, so look, what I'm going to do is I don't know if we have to score in this one, but either way, it's arcade mode. So we're going to get the ball back. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually show you the reasoning behind why Leonard Fournette will be an upgrade. Now, remember, earlier in the year when the, when it first started, he was really, really good. When I first got the game back in, what is it, August or July? I think I got it in July because it came out in August. had like a month early. So, look, Leonard Fournette, the 84 overall, was an extremely good card. But then we realized that the elusive backs was what, you know, it was where it was at. Then they patched the game and made the trucking a little bit more OP. But they kind of kept the, uh, the spin move the same. What happened, though, is it's not an automatic thing anymore, even if a player doesn't have secure tackler. When you try to spin, sometimes it won't be effective. So what does that mean? We have to change and adapt. So we need to make sure that we can truck that player. All right? So with the higher truck, if you initiate a truck and, you know, for whatever reason something else is going on, you're going to get that animation one-on-one. -on -one. And that's pretty much what I would, you know, I would want you guys to look to do is to, you know, literally get that truck animation going. So that's why, you know, we're going to get the ball back real quick and uh, see what we can do with it. All right, so, yo, bar, bar is huge. Oh, yeah, because they, everybody's in. Bro, give me my player. Bar is in. We should be able to pick this, though. Okay, he got, okay, great, great. Fumble. All right, let's go. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick, okay, kick the ball out of bounds. Good job, man. Good job. Yo, you're a real winner, bro. You're not a chicken dinner. You're just a real winner, you stupid idiots. All right, don't, don't worry about it. We're good. We're good to go. I right, move that guy back. We're going to put him there. Put a black like stat. That's good. All right, we're good to go. All right, go ahead. Go. Go. Right here. Right here. All right, good job. Who just got him? Who's that? That's Shazier? All right, cool. Keep doing your thing, Shazier. That's what it's all about. But listen, just so you guys are aware, we still do need a D-tackle. It's not going to be Mean Joe Green, though, because I don't want to invest millions of coins into... Okay, that's getting picked. That's getting picked. I don't want to invest millions of coins into a D-tackle with the way my team is built. So right now, what I'm thinking is Fletcher Cox with the camp. All right, just, just to point that out, make everybody know what's going on with that. That's what I'm thinking, all right? Is it a possibility that, you know, uh, Mean Joe Green's uh, thing will go down? I don't know if I said his name. Did I say somebody else's name and not Mean Joe Green last time? I feel like I said another name, but I mean Mean Joe Green if I didn't because I know a lot of you guys will call me out on it. Uh, but Mean Joe Green, I, I just don't think at this point that I want to spend a million coins for his card, um, especially without the physical cam, you know, getting those. I know he gets, like, gems or whatever, See, like, see, you see that? Look, Leonard Fournette is net 91 speed, but it's not even about that the, uh, the meeting of the thresholds with the spin move. It's not even about that. It's about the fact that I know that he's probably one of the best backs in the game because I've played guys that were really, you know, they were decent Madden players. And they, they knew, like, you see what I'm saying? Like, they knew the truck. They knew when to spin. And it's, it's very, very difficult to be able to maintain that, even if you have secure tackler. Because if you have secure tackler... You'll get truck viciously. You know what I'm saying? You can get spin move viciously, but the truck just hurts more. So I want to make sure I point that out. Like right there, you see, like you can initiate this stuff. Now, I got, he just hit stick me while I was trying to truck. That also can happen. But for the most part, usually when it's one-on-one, -on -one, right? Because I could have gone for the spin, but I'm just trying to show you guys stuff. Remember, in arcade mode, you can't really assess the truck because the truck is like, you know, it's fluky. But what you can assess is his movement and his spin moves. Those will be the same in game. You see what I'm saying? Everything else with the user stiff arm and all the other things that happen, those things, those can easily be fluky. But if you have a Leonard Fournette, I know a lot of you guys will be able to tell me, you know Leonard Fournette is very, very glitchy. And he's better than Eddie George simply because he's dynamic with the spin move. The spin move is so glitchy. Like, it, it, it's pretty much I've gone through it. So I'm aware of it. 
and I'm not going to keep on, you know, avoiding that situation and like, yeah, bro, but I'm going to go with somebody else. I'm going to make you guys know what's up. You know what I'm saying? Regardless if a lot of you guys play me or not, it's my job to make sure you guys are putting the best players out on the field. Is, is it a possibility that I will fire Fournette? Yes, but because I spent training points on him, he might last a little bit longer because of the, um, the sprinter chem. Like, I don't got thousands of things just to be given away. So usually when I give them that upgrade, they stay for a little bit. All right? So that's my assessment. That's why I did it. I would love to hear your feedback on it. And, you know, if you guys are doing it as well, let me know. Leave it in the comment section. Get at me. And we'll talk about it soon, man. All right? Make sure you guys know to subscribe here, G Myers World Gaming, G Myers World Podcast. Check me out on Instagram at G Myers World. Follow me on Twitter. Like me on Facebook at G Myers World. Until next time, one love.